Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to handle multiple windows in Selenium. A web driver does not make distinction between windows and tabs, right? So if I wanted to open a new tab, so I can do control T, right? So you can see new tab. And if I wanted to open a new tab, I can say new window, right? But web driver cannot make distinction between a window and a tab. And if you wanted to open a new tab or window, then what Selenium will do is Selenium will let you work with it using a window handle. So each window or a tab will have a window handle, which is a unique identifier. And that remains persistent for a single session. So we need to get that window handle and that will be persistent for that session. So how do you get that window handle for a given window or tab that we are going to see now. So let's say, for example, we wanted to navigate to google.com. So here I have, you know, system.set property. I have set the uh, web driver to the Chrome extension. And you see, I have instantiated a web driver. So you can see I have instantiated to the Chrome driver so that a Chrome uh, browser window gets open, right? So we are maximizing the window. All right, so what we'll do is we'll navigate to some website like google.com. or we don't even need to go here, right? We can directly get the window handle once a window is open. So how do we get that? Driver dot get window handle is a method we need to use. So which returns a, you see, it's a string, which is a unique identifier, right? So let's print this on the console and check. And see, a window got launched and this is the identifier we are talking about. So this is the unique identifier for that particular window. See, this is the window, right? So Google Chrome window, and this is the unique identifier for that window and for that session. If we are going to run again, so we may not get the exact uh, identifier again. So that is persistent only for that session. So this is how we get a window handle for a window. Right, and in some cases, clicking a link on any link may open a new window, right? But WebDriver will not know which window the operating system considers active. So to work with the new window, we need to switch to it. So let's say, for example, I have Selenium dot. I'm just navigating to Selenium official website. So if you see here, I have a link new window, right? So let, let me click on this. So if I click on that link, it actually opened a new window. And if you see here, operating system, what it does, it actually automatically focus that new window, right? So the control is on the new window, but in WebDriver case, it will not know which window the operating system considers active. So in such cases, what we need to do is to work on the new window. So we need to switch to that new window. So like if you have only two tabs or windows open, right? And you know which window you start with. Let's say, for example, we are starting with this window, which we can call it as a virginal window or a parent window. Then what we can do is we can loop over the windows using the window handle and switch to the new window. So let us see how do we do that. So what we are going to do is we are going to navigate to this website. We'll navigate to this URL and we are going to click on this link, which opens a new window like this, right? So let's do that first. I'm going to navigate to this particular URL. And let's print the window handle as well. So I'll just say this as a window handle. And we are going to click on the link. I'll use link text here and it's new window, right? Dot click. And once we click on the new window, right? So a window gets open like this, right? So what we are going to do is we wanted to know if web driver is focused onto the new window. So how do we do know that, right? So how do we find that is driver dot, what we'll do is we'll again get the handle, get window handle. Right. So 
so this is the child window right we are just verifying once uh, a new window is open so what will be the window handle for that so what we discussed the window handle for each a tab or a new window should be unique right so let us see that now so it opens a new window and it navigates to the url and it has to click on this yes new okay it's a new window and is lower case right so let's give it as lower case and let me run it again new window okay even w is lower case so now you see it navigates to the url and then it clicks on the new window new window is open right now let's actually verify the window handle so if you observe the parent window handle and the child window handle both are same right so but what did we say each window has its own unique identifier but you, if you see these both are same which means that web driver was not automatically able to focus on to this new window so in that case how do you handle we need to switch to that new window if you wanted to actually work or automate something on the new window web elements right so how do we do that so let's see that now so what we'll do is driver dot there is a method called get handles so get window handle will actually give the window handle for the current window right so in the same way we have get window handles which actually gives the window handles as a set of strings for all the windows or tabs which are opened by the web driver so you can see this method return set of strings so let me capture that into a set object and then just input set from java.util we'll create we wanted to iterate over this set of strings and then what we are going to do is we are going to compare each window handle with the parent window handle so this is the parent window handle right at beginning we got the window handle so let's call this as parent window handle and what we'll do is we'll have this as into some variable right so this is get window handle it's a string so i'll call capture this in a string object where i'll call this as a parent window now we have two windows right child window we, we also have child window open now right so and then what we are going to do here we are getting the window handles for all the open windows which are actually captured in a set of strings now we wanted to iterate through this window handles iterator so we are going to iterate through all these handles has next so i dot next i dot next gives us the window handle like uh, you know it actually gives uh, one by one handle and this actually returns a string right so let's capture this and let's call this as child window right now we need to have a condition we need to check if this belongs to the parent or if it is equal to the parent so how do we do that equals we'll actually compare that with the child window but what are we interested to get so, so it should not be equal to parent we wanted to switch to the window which is not equal to the parent that is a new window child window right so that's the reason i am giving a neg negation negation condition here right then if it is so if it is not parent window then it has to definitely be a child window switch to i'll use switch to method here right switch to dot window child window so you see child window here and if it is not equal to the parent so then i wanted to switch to that window child window right and this time let's again print the window handle this time it will it should be a different one right so let's actually get this window handle here 
and just to double confirm right so let's also print the title of the page so this will be the title title of the page all right now let us execute So it clicks on the new window, new window got open. And this time you can see the parent window handle is this one, right? It starts with some 4C2 and you see child window 051. So it, both are different, right? So as uh, each window has its own uh, unique identifier or window handle. So you can see a different window handle for both of the tabs open, right? So you can see two tabs open here, right? So two tabs have two different unique identifiers here. So this is and now, and you can also see the title of this, right? So I actually close it, but you can see it here, right? Selenium is the title of this second window or child window, and you can see the title here. That's what uh, displayed here. So we are on to the successfully we switched on to the child window. So this is how you actually eliminate the window handle of the parent and switch to the child window when you have two tabs or two windows open, right? And starting from Selenium 4, right? Selenium 4 has a an API to actually open a new window and automatically switch to that new window. So let me show you that driver dot switch to dot new window is an API and window type dot. If you wanted to open a new tab, you can do that by using the tab tab value, right? So then it switches to a, actually it opens a new tab. So let me show you that, let me execute it. So it actually executes still here and then it should open a new tab. It clicks on a new window, fine. See, it actually opened a new tab, right? A blank page, you can see that. So this is how you can actually open a new tab and you can actually verify that. What is the handle of it, right? So again, let's print that. Driver.get window handle. We are just verifying if it's of new tab or not, new tab, window handle. So that will come to know, right? So the window handle and also we can verify if it is, uh, you know, switched to that uh, tab. So you can see it here, right? It's a different uh, identifier here. So three different uh, identifiers and uh, the Selenium 4 API, this new window, right? Automatically focuses on to the new tab or new window open. And you just need to modify this tab to window just to open a new window. So let's also see that. So these all uh, we have seen already The next it clicks on this window, but the new thing is it actually opened a new window if you observe. So this is a new window, blank window, new window, right? So this is how you can actually uh, use new window API, which actually is available from Selenium 4 and actually, you know, open a new window or a new tab based on the value passed to this new window method, right? So, so this is how we handle uh, multiple windows in Selenium 4. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.